Hello, I want to show you the best way to make some cover jars. <clears throat> I'm going to show you how to throw what I call a popsicle stick jar. It's a one piece jar and it has the flange either on the top like this one and that one, and that one, or it can go the other way. To make this, you make it a closed form. And when you make the closed form, after forming it, closing it, you take a popsicle stick with a squared off end and push the popsicle stick in until you get deep enough for the flange. It's important that this flange doesn't stand straight up and down. If the lid is going to fit on, like this jar, you want the flange to angle in. And the fit should be right here in the corner. All you need is a popsicle stick, and you square the end off. So I've squared it off and angled it a little bit like a knife. Let me throw one for you. So if you can throw a good cylinder, if you can throw a bottle, you can throw one of these. Decide on the diameter of the base you want. I'm going to go a little bit wider on this one. Decide if you want to trim a foot or not. I'm going to go down and get as much clay as I can out of this, just checking the thickness. And I'm going to open it with a flat bottom, and I'm bending my fingers so I can get the most out of the clay. Smooth and compress. lift. Now the first pull, same as always, but make sure it's coming in. Keep that top edge true. Undercut a little bit. Add some water. Push in, push out, lift, and about here, relax your pressure. You want to keep the top third a little bit thicker. That way you can pull it in. You'll have enough clay there. I'm going to do one more. Thinning it, lifting it, and then relaxing right about here so it's thicker up in that top third. Now you're going to be closing this off, so you want to make sure you get all that water out of the bottom of the pot. Give yourself a little more time. Rib that extra water off the outside of the pot. It also compresses it. I'm just going to make a straight one, but you can make them different shapes. And now to close it, make a triangle with your fingers. Your thumbs are slightly up. Go down below where you want to close it and push in and then move straight up until you get to the top, relax, let go. I'm 
Don't do it too quickly. It may fold over. And as you go, the walls are going to get thicker. So you can come back and re-throw them a little bit. Also, this top edge is going to start go going up and down. If it bothers you, you can trim that off. Make sure there's no water in there. And then bring it in. Now, I was like this, and I'm going to keep changing the position of my fingers to get that to go in. I'm making a triangle. I'm just using my fingertips. Until it's totally closed. Just trim that extra clay off the top. Now, this is an opportunity. You could make a knob. with that clay that you pulled in. Now remember, this is full of air, so it's going to support itself. Now you can take your metal rib and rib the outside and rib the top really push down hard on it. Now where you're going to be putting the popsicle stick in, you want it fairly straight up and down, and you want to give enough space for the flange. So if the flange is going up into the form, you'll have to leave as tall a, tall a space there as the flange will be. If it's going down, it should be straight where you're going to be pushing it in. I'm going to make this, it's a small jar, so I'm going to make this knob a little bit smaller. There. in and refining it off some of this extra clay. Now, to make the uh, flange, you need your popsicle stick and your sponge. So I'm going to push this stick in at a bit of an angle on the side, tilt it, depending on if it's going to go into the jar, I'm going to tilt it this way. If the lid is going to fit over the top, I'm going to tilt it this way. This time I'm going to tilt it this way so the jar will sit down. The lid will sit into the jar. Now I'm going to put the sponge behind where I put the stick on. And the reason for that is to get rid of those burrs as it's going around and smooth it as it comes around. So I'm going to go down a little ways, place the stick on there, 
and let it go around and around and around until it goes in as th thick as the wall. Now I'm tilting it just a little bit. Now, when this hits leather hard, I will cut it right at that seam and then trim it so it fits in. And add a couple little defining lines. I'm going to trim this just a little bit more. And now, just cut it off. It'll hold its shape because it's got air in it. Dry the wheel off, run the wire under it. And then you can pick it up. Now, something you have to be aware of is there's air in there, and the air doesn't shrink. The pot will. So make sure you put a hole in it before you put it away to dry, because as it dries, it's going to shrink, and the air is going to stay the same. If there's a weakness anywhere in the pot, it'll crack it. So I usually put a little hole right where I'll be cutting it. All you need is a needle hole, and that'll release the air as it dries. Okay, thank you very much.